Okay, uh, we're absolutely thrilled to be given this opportunity to talk about our article, uh, What's Queer in Political Science? What we're doing with the article is playing on the word queer. Um, what we're doing is trying to provide evidence uh, and arguments about how strange it is that political science doesn't write in queer theory into its analysis. Uh, and that's strange because other disciplines that look at uh, social relations and look at power in social relations um, often use um, the work of queer theorists such as Judith Butler, uh, Eve Sedgwick, uh, as fundamental to understanding uh, contemporary social relations. Well, first of all, I'd like to talk about why we called the uh, why we titled the article um, "What's Queer About Political Science." It's a playful piece that works on the basis that we think it's rather strange, and that's what we mean by queer. We think it's rather strange that political science is writing out probably the most cited body of work in that analyzes social relations, uh, and that's queer theory, and particularly the work of Judith Butler. Um, Judith Butler is is very highly cited. Isn't she, Nikki? She is. We were very surprised and rather happy <laughs> to find quite high, how highly cited. Um, we actually found that her book, Gendered Trouble, was more cited than the Communist Manifesto. And indeed, the term Butler appeared more times than the term Marx as a standalone search term. Well, queer theory is a huge, um, diverse terrain of debate and contestation rather than a single approach or theory, but two of the major contributions that it makes that we talk about in the article with, article with respect to political science is firstly that queer theory looks at how the supposedly private and intimate spheres of sex and sexuality are actually deeply political and so they are key sites upon which power relations are reproduced. And so questions surrounding sex and, sex, sex and sexuality can't simply be bracketed off from the study of politics because, in fact, they're deeply implicated in uh, matters of economic, social and political justice. So it's therefore rather strange that political science as a discipline isn't engaging with this um, central um, endeavour of locating sex, sexuality in the body within the study of the political. Queer theory encourages reflection on what it means for something to be political, what gets to be counted as political and what gets left out of that definition. And what gets to be included in our definition of the political is in itself a product of the exercise of power and is in itself reproductive of unequal power relations. If, we, if people understand that what we're trying to say is that queer theory, an enormous body of work um, that is cited everywhere else in, in, in disciplines around sociology, disciplines around cultural studies, psychology, history, um, English literature, literature studies generally. Um, if it's being cited elsewhere, uh, this body of work, why isn't it being cited in political science? And that's what we're interested in. Um, I think we're also interested in the consequences of that, the intellectual consequences that Nikki just talked about, but also the professional consequences. Uh, and I, as a dean, have seen the professional consequences uh, for academics who are not able to demonstrate high citation metrics. Um, I think the profession is now obsessed with the standard measures of citation. Uh, our article looks into some detail about citation practices and what we can say is that if you're unable to demonstrate um, that your work is highly cited, um, it doesn't mean to say that your work isn't good uh, and you're not being publishing in high, uh, high quality journals. Uh, Judith Butler's work is outstanding and is being cited all over the place. Um, but queer theorists working in political science aren't being cited and I think there are professional consequences of that. Citation measures are becoming standard in professional judgments of somebody's quality, uh, somebody, the work of, of people and the quality of that work. Uh, and so what we do in the article is, is encourage people to engage more with queer theory because it has intellectual advances, advantages, it gives us um, a fuller and more inclusive account of power in social relations, but also to include the work of queer theorists uh, and to cite queer theorists because that creates more professional justice.
And just to say as well, it's not that queer scholars in political science aren't being cited per se, it's that they're not specifically being cited in political science journals necessarily. Mm -hmm. So they are, their, their work is very influential and well known in other fields and it's uh, a shame for the discipline that that work isn't necessarily always being recognised in the way that it should within the discipline in which these scholars are situated. Yeah, so we're, we're absolutely thrilled to be able to um, do this exercise uh, and introduce the article to the profession. Uh, we'd ask people to obviously read it, uh, to put it on their reading list and moreover to cite it. <laughs>